Let's solve some deals alter problems. Let's jump right in. So here are four different deals alter reactions and we want to see what the products would be. So I'll just work through them so you can see how to work through some of these problems. In each of these problems we have a dyne and a dienophile. And this one is already in the S cis conformation. The two double bonds are on the same side of this sigma bond. And here's my dienophile ready to zip up. So once I have this S cis dyne and dienophile, I could just zip, zip, zip. And we can draw what the product would be. So I made a six member drain. I made a bond here and a here. This double bond is right here so this double becomes a single this single becomes a double that double becomes a single make this bond this double becomes a single and make this bond and i have these two groups which would be on the same side so i could do two wedges or two dashes or something like that and then in, since there's carbonyls here if i want to consider the endo rule I could draw my six-membered ring kind of like a pocket, and I have positions here. These are the, the bottom ones are the inside of the pocket, the endo spot. So since they're on the same side, I can make both of those carbonyls, and these exo spots are hydrogens. So I could draw it like this, or if I wanted to be more careful, I could draw it like this. All right, and let's do this one. Here's my S cis diene. It's in a good location. Here's my dienophile. I'm ready to zip it. But whenever I get one like this with a ring, I like to take this point, bend it up a little bit out of the way. So let me redraw what this looks like. So this is the same thing, but I just move that point up out of the way so it doesn't get in my way. Here's my CHO. Well, CHO, what is that? So CHO is an aldehyde. It's a carbonyl with a hydrogen. If you tried to draw that out and you were like, let's see, CHO, what is, you would see that this doesn't make any sense. So you'll start to learn that CHO means aldehyde. So there's another aldehyde up here. All right, I like to zip, zip, zip. So there's double bond at that location. I connect those two carbons with my point. And now these two groups are aldehydes and they're opposite sides of each other. I could redraw this if I'm trying to show endo rule. So if this one is down endo, that means this has to be opposite and it has to be up. So they can be trans this way, or you might get, this one's the one that's endo, and this one is exo. You can get both of those. All right, looks like this one's ready to zip up. My dyne's in the S cis conformation. Zip, zip, zip. You get up, up, up. I have a double bond here between those two methyls. Right in the middle of the diene, I always end up with that one. Made this bond and this bond. This doubles a single. And that's my final product. If I tried to bend this, you know, as a... If I'm trying to show the endo rule, uh, let's see... if I could draw that right. Something like that would be the endo product. All right, here's my dyne, my dienophile. I want to draw that tip up a little bit. Redraw my starting material. Whoop. Let me try that again.
Let's let it zip up. Those double bonds are still there. Now I have a double bond here. My six membrane ring, this triple became a double bond. I have COCH3, that means ketone. And since it's a double bond, I have to be flat there. So it looks something like that. In this case, my dyeing doesn't look right yet. Let's redraw these. I want my dyeing to look something like this. So if I take this and flip it around, I can have my OCH3 up here. So that's redrawing this one. Here's my CHO, my aldehyde. So I can maybe have this situation or I could flip this one around and have this situation. So what situation do I like better? If I take this one and zip it up, I end up with that six membered ring, OCH3 here, and my aldehyde here. If I zip this one up, my OCH3 is here and my aldehyde is here. In, in my previous video about the regiochemistry of a Diels alder, we know that we don't like 1, 3 as much as we like 1, 2. And I've explained that previously. So I like this one better. If I try to draw it with the endo rule, and this depends on if your professor asks you for that or not. My OCH3 would be here. My aldehyde would be here. In which position would you want the carbonyl? Well, if this is the pocket, I want the pi bond down inside of that pocket endo. So something like this would be what your final product will look like. Now let's see if we can think backwards on what diene and dienophile are used in a diels alder reaction to make these three products. So the basic idea, remember in a diels alder, we have a diene and a dienophile that zip up. So I make a six membered ring and this double bond starts or ends up right in between where the diene started out. So we need to identify that six membered cyclohexene in each compound. So here we are. So here's my six membered ring. Here's the double bond. So that means I start with this diene. This will be the bond I'm going to form. So this is where that double bond starts over here. So you can double check. If I zip this up, walk through where all the electrons go, and you'll see that you make this. Here's one. Here's a six-membered ring. So here's that double bond. All right. So what does this start from? So there's my diene. And if I want, I could connect the top of that. And then here is the six membered ring. So there's the double bond I'm going to react it with. And these two esters start out on the same side because they end up on the same side. They're both pointing down. You can draw on those hydrogens if you want. If you want, you can redraw this compound. So that's one, two, three, four, five, a six membered ring. So I could do this, plus this would be a nice way to draw that. And if this reacts, it makes this product. All right, this one, here's the six membered ring with this double bond. So we keep this the same. So if I start with this dyne, the double bond will end up right here. We can connect to that with the oxygen. And this would be the six member drain I formed with the alkene in it. So I'm going to have double bond, 
CO2ME. And if I zip those up in a deals alder, I make that compound. Hey, please subscribe to the channel so I can continue to help you with your organic chemistry.